Troy Hughes, who is the current athletic director of the Texas A&M Fight Night? Uh, that would be Ross Bjork. Yes, Ross Bjork. He told the Houston Chronicle that when the University of Texas joins the SEC, that the first conference game between the Aggies and the Longhorns needs to be in College Station. <laughs> he said, now he had said last year, we want to be the only SEC program in the state of Texas. Uh, but he has obviously since lost that fight. Texas is coming to the SEC. Uh, but he has uh, told the, uh, the, the powers that be within the conference that that first game he thinks should be, because we are a current member, we should get the honor of that first game. Okay. At the universe, at the uh, at Texas at Kyle Field. What's the problem with that? It's just little D energy. Ooh. I'm sorry. What? It's little D energy. Okay, go ahead. Like he's preemptively striking and asking to grant them the first home game. He look. He's a hundred percent right. A and M should get the first home game. He's a thousand percent right. They're a current member in standing. Texas is not. Texas is the new kid on the block. A and M absolutely should get it. And the conference should know better and should give it to him anyway. But he should never ask for it. <laughs> Especially publicly. It makes you look small. It makes you look like Texas is in your head. And it makes you look weak. Wow. It's below. It's beneath a and and m needs to realize they are no longer stepchildren. They are as rich and as powerful as any team in college football. That's a fact. They are. They're as powerful and as rich as any team. And they need to start acting like it. No. And stop doing this little D energy thing where they're going to, uh, you know, get me commissioners. Thank you. I'm sorry. Who is this? Who is this talking? This is Ross Bjorn. Oh, you got to be okay. Jimbo. No, this is. I, I can't do that. I can't talk like that. I just can't talk as fast as Jimbo. I just can't talk as fast as Jimbo. What's the truth? Yeah, what's the truth? He's want to click to the hit. He's want to click to the hit. That's all you want. You want to click to the hit. Just let me handle this. Just let me handle this, okay? And that's, what, that's what Jimbo should be saying to Ross Bjork. But Ross Bjork's like, oh, commissioners, thank you. I would like to request that the first game between the uh, A&M Aggies and the University of Texas will be at Kyle Field. Response? My response is clear. I support anything and everything Aggies. I support all Aggies. Johnny Mansell, my favorite, favorite quarterback of all time. Love him so much. Jimbo Fisher is a god to me. R.C. Slocum. Anyone that is Texas A&M, I support. I've never once supported Ross Bjork. I've never once supported him. Why? Because of what He's RJ the one who made this happen. He put you all on the map. He made you no, he didn't. the Kings now. No, he did not put us on the map. There are more people behind the scenes than Ross Bjork. He the wasn't former, there. He wasn't there, right, yeah, when he, he made the switch? He was, was not. Oh. The former fullback of Western Illinois University, Ross Bjork, who, like RJ said last year, was the one that's like, we, hey, we don't want Texas over here. We want to take – this is our thing. And I was like – you know, you know, if they want to come along, they, you know, we can go to Kyle Field, and that's fine. I'm not a support a supporter of Ross Bjork, but I am a supporter that the game has to be at College Station. I agree. It 100% has to be at College Station, and people are upset like, oh, no, you want to fight Texas. Oh, no, you want to play the Longhorns again in college football. We never once didn't want to play Texas. And by we, we're talking about a fan base. When you play 118 straight games, and it's taken away from you in 2011, and it's not renewed in something as simple as the Texas Bowl when they should have played years ago. That is infuriating. That's why the game has to be renewed, but it must be played at Kyle Field. I, look, I agree. It has to be at Kyle Field. I, I, I think the SEC would do that anyway. Uh, and, and if you do, do it privately, ask it privately. Oh, oh, the, the public thing, I just think it made them look scared. Speaking of Texas, please, God, end this. Please end this recruiting story as Arch is apparently down to two. Uh, he is down to two, according to The Athletic. He is down to UGA and the University of Texas. That is according to The Athletic, like I said. Uh, Alabama, he still has uh, done, you know, a, an official visit, uh, but you know he, he made his comments uh, about his official visit to the University of Georgia. He's got his official visit with Texas still, um, but the reports are is that it's down to two. Please, please, for, please end this thing. Man. Like, this poor kid, they're... He's turning me... They're turning me on it. They are. And it's not his fault, and it's not the Manning family's fault. It's just that he doesn't start reporting on it because, like, he's the biggest the biggest story. 
But, you know, he's got until December 15th or whatever to make his decision. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. This this is not ending anytime soon. Sean, we are exactly two weeks away from Arch Manning's visit to Austin. I mean, the date is being put out there by Orange Bloods. The date is being talked about nonstop by Longhorn Insider Chip Brown. June 17th through the 19th, it will be a party. You you think you think they're treating their queen right now like like a god with this jubilee they're doing in England? Oh my god. Wait, wait till you see what Austin does for Arch Manning when he arrives in 2 weeks.